environment all set up, it's time to make it interactive and fun to explore. Right now everything is static, nothing can move. But we can add code to some of our objects to help them and code them to move around in your environment. Let's check out an example that I have here in my ocean environment. I'm going to come up here and click the play button. And this lets me explore my world and you can see that I have some animals moving. I have an orca whale that's swimming around in a big circle throughout the whole ocean here. And notice that I have it up in the water, not down here on the ocean floor. If I come over here, I've got a group of fish that are swimming back and forth in the water. Down here on the ocean floor, I've got a starfish that is meandering around, just following some path as it wanders in any direction around on the floor. And over here to my right is a crab that I have coded to walk back and forth. He walks one way, does a little dance, and walks back the other way. And then he just repeats this going back and forth. So those are my animals that I have moving in my environment. Makes it a lot more interesting. To do that, to add code to our animals, I need to go back into my edit mode. And I'll show you how to get started on doing the coding in a different environment. I'm going to go to a desert environment. And here I have uh, my pond and, some, and a river and a camel. So I want to code the camel to come over to my pond and get a drink. To do that, I first have to turn on coding on the camel. This is an important step. Don't forget to do this. Every object that I place in my environment can't be coded. I have to turn it on on purpose. So I'm going to come to my camel and either right click or double click on it. And I get this black menu. I'm going to click on code. And I'm going to flip the switch that says use in code blocks. That's the only switch I need to flip. And then I can go ahead and close these windows. And now coding is turned on for the camel. I'm then going to come up here to the top bar and click on code. And the type of coding that I want you to use is code blocks. And this is, should look familiar. It's using drag and drop blocks to do our coding. Right now, the first block that's already placed there for you is the when play clicked block so that all of the code that I add here will run as soon as I push the play button. Actions or, code blo or blocks are grouped by category by the type of thing that you want to do. To add code blocks to our code we simply have to click the category that we want and drag out the code block and snap them together. I can test it out by pushing play and seeing what it does. I saw my camel move forward a little bit, so I can come back here and I can edit and say, oh, I want my camel to move much farther than that. But I don't want him to run too fast, so I'm going to slow him down. And let's see what that does. So he's coming closer to my water. I think I'll adjust that just a little bit more and have him go one more meter. The next thing I want him to do is pretend that he's drinking water. So I'm going to go to the actions group and set the animation of my camel to eat. Even though I want him to drink water, it's going to be eat. He walks forward. And then it's like he's getting a drink of water. 
the code for each of these actions that you saw these animals doing, my orca whale swimming around in a circle, the crab going back and forth, and the starfish moving randomly on the ocean floor. All those code examples are in Canvas under this assignment, so you can copy the code there and modify it for your own needs. I did want to show you one trick that I used on the starfish to make it wander around randomly on the ocean floor. I'm going to use this example of the snake on the desert floor here, and I need to add an object to my screen before I can do the code for that. So I'm going to go to Library, Special, and drag out one of these paths. There's three kinds there. Generally, you want to just stick with the first one. I'm going to drag that out, and it makes a path that my snake can follow. Each of these blue dots can be moved. I can click and hold and drag it to anywhere I want to make that path that my snake is going to follow around as it slithers around on the desert floor. And I'm going to go ahead and position my snake right on top of the path. Also, don't forget to turn on coding for, those, for that animal that you want to move. I'm going to double click that snake and click code. Flip the switch so I can code it. Now when I go to my code, I'm going to create a new algorithm, so I'm going to click the plus button and use code blocks. And I'm going to have my snake follow that path. So I'm going to drag the move on path block. And now I choose snake to follow that round path. And this can be, I can determine how fast I want him to go. So if I want him to go faster, I would make this a small number. I want him to go slower, this would be a bigger number. I'm going to test it out and see what my snake does. I've got to turn around and look at him. Where is he at? Ooh, there he goes. Ooh, he's slithering quite fast. I want my snake to keep going. You saw my snake went around only one time. I want him to keep on going around that path. So I'm going to go to the control group and choose a forever block. I'm going to drag my move block and put it inside the forever loop so that my snake keeps on moving around that path. I'm going to have him go a little slower. And I think I'm going to have him, I hope there's an action, an animation where he slithers. So I'm going to set the animation of my snake to slither. Now let's check him out. And there he goes, wandering around my desert floor.